Okay, so what really makes the Solar Mist system work and really neat is the fact that we can get distance from the inside of your house's Wi-Fi out to the Solar Mist system, wherever it is in the backyard, pasture, chicken coop, near your pool, on the other side of your yard, wherever it is. And this system here allows you to do it. So we're gonna go through real quickly how to install this. And notice one thing on here are these QR codes. That's very important. You'll be using those to help set up your system. What you need to do now is go and download the Solacom app from the App Store if you're using iPhone and uh, go ahead and go to Google and get your Android app. It's like I said, Solacom, S-O-L-A-C-O-M, and it'll allow you to attach to attach any of the Remington Solar devices to it, including the Solar Mist. And you can also run multiple Solar Mists on your app. So now we're gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so I've just switched over to an Android and I'm gonna show you all how to install the Solacom app. So here's the app and you see our logo there. Go ahead and install that. Now you need a username and password. So you don't have one. So let's go to register. Okay, so put in your email address. Okay, so now you have an email address in, you need your code. So how to get the code. So go ahead and click on get code. Okay, I'm going to go to the manual real quickly because as of right now, and this is January 8th, 2019, uh, we're gonna change this so the uh, iTunes app on your iPhone is gonna look a little bit different than the Google app. It's a very subtle small change but I want to make you aware of it. When you download the app and register for the first time, you click on register, you enter your email address and on the, the uh, iPhone app there's a little link there that says sent and that's going to be changed to get code. On the uh, Google app it already says get code. So once you enter your email address here, just go ahead and click sent. You will be emailed your verification code. You get that through email. Here's where you plug in your code right here. Then you click on next. So it takes you on to the next page for registration. Also, I wanna make you aware of when you get to the screen where you choose your add a hub. So once you've clicked in and added the hub and given power to it, you wanna click the middle link, your new GPRS hub. It will immediately give you uh, access to your scanner on your phone. And so it'll automatically scan the QR code on the back. Uh, I'll show you how to do that. So now we're gonna go ahead and plug the hub into the router. It's, it's super easy. So we're in a closet here, but that's okay. So what we do is we take the hub and we take the network cable that we gave you plug it into the back here there we go and this is going to go in to our router up here so we've got that plugged in and now we need to get power to it so the power cord comes in from down below okay and we plug it in right there make sure it's at the right angle there we go and you should see power to it. So the power is there, but we're not connected. There we are. And now we're gonna go hook the app to it. Okay, so now the hub is plugged in to your router. First thing we have to do is add this device so your app and phone can read it. So make sure that your Wi-Fi is on your phone and then take your QR scanner from the app and scan that little code on the front of your controller. We're gonna show you how to do that. Okay, so you click on add a device. Okay, and then you click on scan the QR code or barcode. And then you put it on. Now let's go install your hub. So now you notice the QR code on the back. So your app should still be ready to scan that. So we'll move that right up to it. Scanned it, you're installed. Is that crazy or what? See the Solar Mist 3? That's you. So you would click on that to manage your spray cycles. So now we're gonna go to it and we are going to add a time. So click on add. 
When do you want it to run? And this is basically military time and what days do you want? And your solar mist will now spray in the backyard once we hook up the tubing and the nozzles. You can click what day and this way you can control how much concentrate you use. Now, was that the easiest setup ever? Pretty amazing.